Hi there, we've got another clean water systems instruction video for you today. We're going to show you how to set up your 5900 BT sediment filter system. Okay, so this is uh, how your sediment filter system will arrive. You'll have a box with your media cylinder, you'll have your uh, box with chemsorb, and you'll have a box that has your uh, gravel and your valve control valve. Okay, so we've got all of our components unboxed, so we want to go ahead and do a quick inventory on everything. So we've got our media tank, we've got our D-tube, we've got the chem sorb, our gravel for the base of the tank, we have our fill funnels, we have our control valve, power supply, our bypass valve, our one inch adapter fittings, some o-ring lube for your o-rings, and the instruction manuals. You want to make sure you inventory and have all your parts before you start beginning your installation uh, and or having uh, your plumber come out uh, to install the system. Make sure you have all your components. Okay, so for choosing a spot to install your sediment filter, you want to make sure of a couple things. Uh, first of all, if you uh, are uh, upstream of your water heater, you want to be at least 10 feet from that um, because the wa hot water could travel back down into your sediment filter uh, or you can use a check valve in, in line. Um, the other thing is you want to make sure that uh, your unit is not in any direct sunlight or in an area where it could freeze. So for today we're going to go ahead and install our system. We're going to use Schedule 80 PVC to show uh, for this demonstration. Okay, we're going to go ahead and prepare our cylinder to put the media in. I uh, did want to mention we recommend having your plumbing set up with an isolation valve to close the water supply off to both the house and to the system and also install a hose bib. Uh, this will allow you to do some sampling of backwashing uh, and I'll get into that in a little bit. So first thing we're going to do is get our tank set up for the uh, media. So you want to take your D-tube and, and you want to make sure these some some models of these threads. So you want to make sure that didn't come loose in shipment. Just hand tight, make sure it's good. Let me go ahead and drop that down into your tank. Now one thing that's important, you want to make sure your D-tube is level with the uh, surface here on the tank. Uh, there's a little divot that that fits down into. As you can see right now, this is not seated properly. So, cool little trick, you can kind of just spin the thing like a top and as you saw it drop down in there. So now we're level with the, the surface. So you may have received one of two types of funnels we have. One is a blue funnel that has a clear hole through it. The other one is a black funnel which actually has a little plug here to fit over the D-tube. You don't want to get media down into the D-tube. So if you have a blue funnel, we recommend you use a blue piece of tape over the top or a, a piece of masking tape. Make sure you give yourself a buddy tab here. You want to make sure you have a buddy tab on there. What you don't want to do is pull this D-tube back up out of the media. Uh, when, when you're removing the tape. That's going to be very important. So if you're using the blue funnel, put that around there and then you'll pull your media in. When you remove the tape, you want to make sure, again, hold that D-tube down. You don't want to pull that D-tube up out of, your, out of your media. For this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and use the black funnel. So you're just going to seat the D-tube into the black funnel over that little kit there and pop it right in. And the first thing you're going to do is put your gravel in. This is the gravel. You want to make sure you pour the gravel in. What that does is covers the base of the uh, the filter on the bottom of the D2. And then what you'll do is you'll pour in your um, chem sorb. And again, depending on the size of your system, we supply the right amount to, uh, to put into your cylinder. So uh, when you're done, you should be up about three quarters up of the cylinder. 